Hi everyone and welcome to the 21st edition of the ICRT vlog. So this week we're talking about a couple of stories that are making the rounds on the internet. First of all, um, here's a story about packaging being very confusing sometimes. So a netizen posted this story about her niece and she said that her little niece came up to her one day and said um, grandma gave her a piece of chocolate but the chocolate was really really salty and it didn't taste very good and so uh, this netizen looked at the piece of chocolate that her niece was talking about and it was not actually chocolate it was chicken stock cubes wrapped in gold foil so the gold foil is very beautiful and attractive I have to give it that but uh, it's actually chicken broth or a chicken broth cube. So um, a lot of other netizens also chimed in with their own stories. Someone else said they had an aunt who accidentally ate a block of dried fish food because it looked so much like chocolate with like with little nuts inside. But the grossest story by far was a netizen saying that um, when they were little, they saw a little flake of a cookie on the bed. And so they picked it up and they ate it. And then after vigorous chewing, discovered that it was actually foot skin, dried foot skin. <laughs> okay, moving on. And moving on to a more appetizing story. Um, this is picked up from the Apple Daily. So the Apple Daily reporters found that a place in Taichung has the highest concentration of hot pot restaurants in the shortest amount of distance. So this is in Taichung's Chitun Street and what they found was that in a an area of two, a street 200 meters long there were nine hot pot restaurants. So that's an average of one hot pot restaurant every 22 meters and they had all kinds of hot pot. It was like traditional hot pot, uh, mala hot pot, hot pot buffet and the list goes on and on and actually official data shows that as of last year 40 percent of the chain uh, food and beverage shops in Taiwan are hot pots restaurants so 40 percent of all those chains are hot pot chain. So it tells you that Taiwanese people really love their hot pot. And our last story for this week is a story that requests help from our audience and from netizens in general. So the stationery store in New Taipei's Wugu district, they posted this story and they are calling for help. What happened was on Tuesday, January 29th at 11 a.m., 11 in the morning, they say a man and uh, two little girls walked into the store and they made a purchase and the person who was uh, managing the cash register accidentally mistyped the cost of their purchase so uh, they purchased some acrylic foam tape which is just like the thick tape and then the person uh, typing on the cash register typed in 411,142 NT which is not the correct amount of money, obviously. So what happens now is that this shop is desperately searching for this unknown anonymous customer. They need to get the customer's copy of the receipt to cancel that purchase and issue the correct receipt. If they cannot find the customer's copy and cancel the receipt, they could be fined by the government. Um, in this case, it would be up to 1,500 NT if it's just a regular old receipt. But the the kicker is if this receipt ends up being a winning receipt, like it wins the numbers for the receipt lottery, the store would actually have to pay whatever amount of money these people would win, which would be highly unlikely but also disastrous. So this shop is desperately searching for this mysterious customer. Hopefully they find him soon. And that does it for this week's ICRT vlog. Remember, if you enjoy watching the vlog and you enjoy watching what we do, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are ICRT FM 100, and you can also like and follow us on Facebook. Otherwise, we will see you next week. Bye!